What's going on guys, it's me, Semi Mong, back with yet another Riders of Icarus video. So, oh god, go away driver update. So you're probably wondering, oh god, what we're doing. You're probably wondering why there's not been a few videos for like the past few days, why we've privated pretty much all of our Project Icarus Online videos. And that's because we got a copyright strike. So, Nexon, the big company that make Riders of Icarus, don't want their content being showed prior to its release pretty much so we can't play on project icarus online now because it's a private server so we'll be returning to riders of icarus the public server made by nexon and of course carrying on with all of the content that we did before so i was just jumping in and creating a video now just to update you on a few things on a couple of things with the channel and of course the game itself so this is the dev blog and this is the uh, hair in my face next update that's meant to be coming to riders of icarus trift or rift so playing project icarus online i've played through all of these areas and i was actually focusing on this area getting all of the heroics to try and get the reward that you get so i thought i'd just update you on a few things that are coming with this new update first and trift or rift is like just to the left of Pana's coast, it's got like three islands, it's pretty obvious what it is, like it says it on the map, but it's like not really a continent, it's just like floating in the sky, it's pretty weird. And it's just an area where you're going to need a flying mount or a couple with high stamina, unless you've got stamina potions to fill it up I guess, just because there's no like really big islands, like you'll be flying from island to island, so that's one thing I can suggest. Now all of these mounts I actually, I think I got all of them. I got Femuto, I got Lunafon, I had a go at getting the Twilight Cargyle. So this uh, area, Triftal Rift, has now a two heroic mounts that only require one mark. So they're both called Cargyles. So this requires a Cargyle mark and this one requires a Cargyle mark. I'm trying to remember the name. This one's the Twilight Cargyle, I think. And this one's either called just Cargyle or Void Cargyle. This guy's called Lunafon and this one's Femuto. It's like an upgraded, what is it, Terra Carav from... Pff, from uh, Pana's coast, but obviously they're gonna change their name, so don't you worry, I know how to get like all of the recipes, I know where all the recipes drop and how to get all of the materials. What else I'm gonna be doing is actually bringing you videos on what to prepare for, things you need to stack up on, like you need to get some Grumpy Gross to actually tame Luna font, and obviously just redoing the videos in the next one version of the game by their name and how you can tame them in their game. I'm also going to be just doing, until the update comes out, as I said, around 28th of September, towards the end of the month. There's no confirmed date, but that follows their previous update schedule, like once a month they'll update something, which is pretty, it's a pretty fair theory to be fair. But I'll be bringing you just, yeah, general videos on what to prepare for, dungeon videos. I need to get myself back into the game, really. I need to start like earning things, just earning gold getting items get myself back on track so it'll be a couple of days until we actually get back into taming things but until then it'll be a dungeon run or two and i'm going to be forming a guild as well so check our channel tomorrow for an information on what i want to be doing as a guild and of course if you want to join my guild and play along in riders of icarus it will be a pve guild mainly so not really pvp and that's because that brings us on to the next announcement there'll be a new game coming in october to the channel called revelations online so it's another giant mmo like was it riders of icarus completely lost my word and then like riders of icarus and it's actually got such a same sort of similar background as in riders of icarus and revelations online were both made in china or korea the, the asian content of the world and make and just being ported over making being ported over to the western market of the world whereas revelations online is very much more pvp based so that's why i want to try and stick to PvE, dungeons, world bosses, raids, and taming in Riders of Icarus, and try and focus on PvP in Revelations Online. I keep looking at the picture and at the face cam, it's confusing me. I haven't done a face cam in ages. But yeah, PvP on Revelations Online is going to include player killing, so PKing, which means open world PvP, pretty much, apart from some safe zones. It's going to be a lot more orientated around that, so I hope you guys do enjoy that. Check back to our channel. We're going to be actually playing the closed beta come October and then the open beta comes out I believe around a month later and we'll already have early access to that as well so check back to our channel for guides and just getting started on that game especially if you want something similar to Riders of Icarus but a lot more 
PvP and sort of, not, I wouldn't say skill-based combat, but like, it's just a lot more PvP and you're gonna have a lot more strategies because you can constantly be attacked in the open world, okay? It's amazing, I really wanna play it, like, literally. But apart from that, guys, yeah, we're gonna be returning to Riders of Icarus, we're gonna be get Guild up and running tomorrow, check out for that video, getting back into the game, then over the course of this weekend, so it's, what day is it? Is it Tuesday? Wednesday today? So yeah, come Saturday, we'll be getting back into taming the current heroics, Parnas Coast, Badlands ones and then just preparing for Triftual Rift because come Triftual Rift you're gonna get obviously this whole new area, new world bosses, there's five in total and then you're going to be getting a level 40 level cap and it is speculated, well I, I certainly speculate, I've played Project Icarus online and with level 40 comes legendary dungeons so you need six people for a legendary dungeon and that obviously means potentially a new class, the archer class so actually if we get some more confirm okay? Confirmative, that's the word I'm looking for. If we get more confirmation, yeah, confirmation on the Archer class, we will obviously bring you back with another guide officially for Riders of Icarus, fully translated this time. But yeah, until then, guys, check out the Revelations Online video coming out today. And yeah, thanks for all the support on Riders of Icarus. Spread the word of game on by telling your friends. Follow me on Twitter if you want updates of just my general gameplay, stuff I'm taming, stuff I've got from dungeons and all of that. Be sure to check the description down below. I was doing it with my mouse like a... But until next time guys, thanks and I'll see you on the next video. I want this guy again.